I found a video on YouTube where DSC Hormasar was answering a guy on his question. So due to high resistance of nichrome in electric heater, the production of heat should decrease as due to high resistance current should also decrease. I found it nonsense so I left a comment and a guy came up with this. So I decided to test the conductivity of nichrome myself. Hence I made this video. But before that, I googled to find out the answer and they keep the nichrome among the good conductors. But why should I believe them? I will test myself. Here I have taken a nichrome wire from the heating coil and now I will test its resistivity with a multimeter. The beeping sound says that it's having less than 100 ohm resistance between this centimeter gap and its resistivity we noted is 2 ohm at 2 centimeter gap which shows it's a good conductor and not a bad conductor. Now I will show you its conductivity by connecting a nichrome wire between the LED and a battery. So as you can see it glows bright as it needed to be but if it was a bad conductor the LED would be dull or not even lit up and now I will show you the conductivity of a tungsten used in light bulbs which gets red hot. It's thin enough to see and it's quite delicate. And we found the resistivity of this tungsten is quite similar to the resistivity of the nichrome. Hence, these both metals are a good conductor and this is the reason they are used in the heaters as they having a good conductivity and very high melting point okay hope you understand the concept of the metals used in heaters and sure to subscribe see you in the next video